Hey everyone! In this video, I will walk you through three simple holiday animation techniques. The first technique is animating blinking lights. To start out, I have my project already set up with an illustration of multicolored lights. I'll start by going into an empty track above my lights and toggling on drawing mode and then entering the flipbook mode. To add the glow effect, I'll use the color drop tool to pick up the color of a light bulb and then I will draw an oval shape that extends past the underlying light bulb. This way, the glow will shine past the light bulb. And to create the alternating blinking effect, I will skip the red light bulb and draw over the green light bulb and I will continue drawing the glow for every other light bulb. Once done, I will create a new frame and now I will start with the red light bulb and then I will continue drawing every other light bulb, getting all the light bulbs that were skipped in the last frame. Once I've drawn all the remaining glows, I will return to the timeline and select the frames and extend them so essentially each frame will hold for half a second. This long hold will allow for the blinking to be more slow and subtle. Next, I will group the frames and rename the group glow. Next, I will move the group in between my lights and shadow layers, and then I'll delete the empty track. Now I'll add a Gaussian blur by tapping on the action button and choosing filter and then tapping on Gaussian blur. And now I'll drag the slider until I'm satisfied with the final effect, which ended up being 7%. I'd recommend just playing around with the slider until you get the desired effect you want. Next, I want to make my glow a little more subtle. So I'm going to reduce the opacity of the group to around 70%. This step is really about personal personal preference. Depending on your colors and background, you may not need to reduce the opacity or you may want to make your glow more transparent. Pick what works best for you. And that's it. The next technique will show you how to animate a spinning ornament. This technique works a lot like my parallax scrolling car tutorial, where I will have a long pattern which I will move to the right, which will give the illusion that the ornament is spinning. To start out, I have already drawn an ornament on one track and have the long ornamental pattern on the track above it. I'm going to just zoom out so I can see the full pattern. And then I'm going to zoom in on the timeline to make sure the action button is aligned to the first frame of the timeline. Next, I'll tap the action button and choose motion and tap on move and scale to create a new move keyframe. Now I'll zoom back out on the timeline and go to the very last frame and add a new movement keyframe. Now I'll go to the canvas area and we'll move the pattern to the left. Tip! To help me move the pattern in a straight line, I will hold one finger to the screen as I move it to activate snapping so it stays centered. Next I'm going to tap in between the keyframes to bring up the easing options and I'm going to make sure it's set to linear easing. This way there's a nice consistent movement. Next I'll clip the pattern to the ornament by tapping on the layer and then tapping on mask and then tapping clipping mask. As you can see now we only see the pattern when it's over the ornament. Next, I'm going to add some dimension by adding a shadow and highlight to the ornament. So in a new track, I'll go in and draw a shadow around one edge of the ornament. And then I will fill the duration of that track. Then I'll apply a clipping mask. And now seeing it clipped, I'm going to go back in and just touch up the shape of my shadow. 
Next, I'll tap on the layers icon and tap on the end to change the blend mode to multiply. And then I'll reduce the opacity so it's a more subtle shadow and the pattern can be seen through it. Next, I'll go back to the timeline and use the action button to bring up the Gaussian blur. And I will slide it over till I get a nice soft shadow. That looks great. Then I'll rename the layer. Next, I'll copy and paste the layer into the empty track above. I'm going to make this duplicated layer my highlight. So I'm going to go into the canvas area and I'll tap on the circle with the three dots and choose flip horizontal. And then I'll move it over to the other side of the ornament from the shadow. Next, I'm going to change the color to white and color drop onto the shape. And as you probably notice, now we can't see anything there. So I'll go into the layers panel and change the blending mode to screen. And now you can see the highlight portion. Lastly, I'll rename the layer highlight. And that's it. Now I have the simple spinning ornament. The last technique will be animating snow. To start, I will go to an empty track and enter drawing mode. Next, I will change my brush to a snow texture brush. Procreate Dreams comes with a snow brush which can be found in Elements and then by tapping on Driven Snow. Now I'll enter the flipbook mode and I'm just going to zoom out. To help me see the snow, I'm going to tap on the time code and then tap on Background Color Change. And then now I will choose a black color. Next I'll zoom out and then start drawing the snow over the frame. And I will continue drawing the snow up as I move to the top of the drawing area. And now I'm going to draw around the edges to just extend out the area of the snow. This will provide some flexibility later. Once satisfied, I will exit flipbook mode and I will tap on the layer and fill duration. And I think I want the snow to look a little smaller, so I will go and scale down the snow. This is why it's nice to draw out a ways so you have more flexibility later. Now I'll go back to the timeline and position the action button on the first frame. Since snow tends to float around a lot as it falls, I want the movement of my animation to feel more organic instead of just falling straight down. So for this animation, I'll actually be using the perform mode. So I'm just going to zoom out on the canvas and then I will tap on perform to begin the recording. Now I'll just slowly drag down the snow layer until I reach the end of the timeline and I'm actually purposely kind of wiggling it around a bit as I'm pulling it down just to create more of that organic floating nature to the snow. And that's it! Thanks for watching. I hope you found these three easy techniques useful and are inspired to incorporate them into your holiday animations. As always, comment down below to let me know what you'd like to see me cover in the future. 